GSP sea fishing. And I'm here at Sandfire Ho, as you can see. There's the cliffs, white cliffs of Dover behind me. And I'm here with Mark. How are we doing? Right. And me, and him, or him. We're gonna catch a monster, aren't we? We'll try to. We're gonna try and catch we'll a monster. Try. So we're heading towards Dover end of uh, Sandfire Ho. And what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go for Rass as well? Go for the rest too, yeah. We'll yeah. stick a big bait at something and then probably like a free boom rig. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, boom rig down the wall. So we're gonna try and get a big rass. So I'm gonna get to the end, get set up, see if we can get some fish. rods up and deciding what I'm going to do and what's really good is that me and Mark are going to do slightly different things so we really are covering all bases I'm going to be fishing small baits on both rods and Mark's going to go for the rats as well as going big baits so hopefully between us if anything does happen or anything does show we might be able to get it and bring you some decent fish but it is fishing and nothing is guaranteed but our fingers are crossed so let's get set up and i'll show you what we're doing right so just gonna put a rig on my leader and look at that obviously caught it against some rocks it's all chafed so I'm going to replace that now because that's not really good. I'll end up losing a fish down the wall. So let's get that changed, get a new leader on that. And then we can set up these rods. So what I'm going to go with is Skyline, 32 kilo. It's only 0.50 thick. That's really thin mono. Good enough for, for here. So that's sort of 67 pound. So, um, really strong mono. We'll get that on now and get set up. Right, so before we go over to Mark to see what he's doing, I'll show you what I've got. Now, the Sonic Gravity HT, there it is in front of me. In all my videos, take it nearly everywhere. That is going to be fishing on a three hook flapper. So, we've got a three hook flapper with size one Aberdeen hooks. And what I'm going to do on that, first of all, and there's a 170 gripper. I am going to put some strips of salted mackerel and I'm going to cast them just an overhead thumb sort of 80 yards out just to see if there's any bream about or any other summer species lurking out there in the rough ground and then what I'm obviously going to do is put a bait down the wall so on the Vega the Tenza I have got a two hook boom rig with the sliding boom so I can move them up and down I've got a small floaty bead next to a 2.0 Aberdeen hook so I'm trying to stop the little ones nabbing it but they still will and we're going to drop that straight down there and basically see if we can get anything so that's all for the small stuff now Mark's over here he's uh, I can see he's wrapping bait on already he's too eager <laughs> You're too eager, mate. Too eager. <laughs> so what are you doing there, mate? Right, so what I've got on the air is a pedal wig. Yep. And then I've got a little cocktail bait off there, just some bluey and some squid. Uh, we're using smaller size hooks, a size three. I normally like on a one or something like that. I just feel it's just giving me a bit more chance today. But if there is a smaller things out there, like the ground feeders, but hopefully we might get a bite on there rather than having a hook that's too big and then yeah, and then you just get stripped and that. yeah. Um, and on the right hand side rod, got three hook boom rig. Yeah, a bit like me. I was up with some uh, worms on that, and then got some little super big up worms. I'll just say cut down just to tip off to keep the worms off. Nice. Coming off because they've dried out in the packet. So, <laughs> so, so, so we're both going for rass, and then you're going for something nice and big out there, hopefully. Or, or if something small starts pecking at you, you should snag one of them. That's it. And I'm just going for small. That's it. Yeah, because I've given up on big now, mate. That's it. <laughs> it must be big out there. So. Yeah, well, I, I, fingers crossed you get it. Right, we let Mark 
bite up. I'm gonna bake this up now and we're gonna get these rods out. So I'm just threading it through two or three times, like that. Leave a little tag there. I'm going to bait elastic that on. So let's get these three done. What's the other one? You never know when a rash is going to hit. Right, started. Right, I think I'll just stop this. I've got a bite. There we are. Look at that. Lovely cork wing wrasse. First wrasse out of today. Not bad at all. Stunning little colours. Lovely little fish. I am happy catching these all day. They do put a smile on my face. Well, I'm going to get a little photo of him and then he can go back. Right, unfortunately, here at the hoe, You've only got one choice, and that's to get it over the wall. But just make sure when you do do that, you're not throwing it on the ledge. So I'm getting it out there, back down into the water. All right, let's get rebaited up. Right, so before I put that boom rig back out, I am going to get this three hook flapper out, and that's all I've got is little strips of mackerel. Three little strips, there we go. And I'm going to get that out now. Right, what I'm going to do with this bottom boom, is I'm just going to slide it up about six, eight inches, just to see whether the bigger fish will come out of the rocks a little bit further than the littler ones. See if I can get away from the littler ones. Let's get it back over the wall. I think we might have a little wrasse on here, or have I lost it? Oh, we've got a little wrasse, another little wrasse. Oh. What is it? Oh, a lovely balan wrasse there. Look at that, colours on that. I want it to be sort of 10 times bigger than that, but pretty nonetheless. Let's get him back. Here we go, I'm putting some new bait on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the old bait on here. That's fine, it makes your bait a bit bigger. And as long as you've got a nice live tail section near the hook, you're gonna get back bites from the wrasse. So let's get this one on. Nice bit of bait, had a couple of wrasse, which is good. So we can get some more as this tide floods. Oh no, Mark has got the bottom. Got it moving? Well done, mate. Yeah, um, um, unfortunately, that doesn't count. <laughs> So my rass rod is bouncing. Mark's was just bouncing. Have you got one, mate? 
No. They are little rats that are around at the moment, nabbing bait. Right, something odd is happening on this Sonic, so I'm going to bring it in, see if there's anything on it. It might be snagged, there might be a fish taking it into a snag. Let's have a look. Oh, he's up. I don't think there's anything on this. It was making some funny movements. Let's check the bait and get it back out. Well, I am going to put that straight back out. That is out there. That's 100 meters. Oh, I missed it. I think I missed it. I think I missed it. Oh no, I got it. It's tiny. It's tiny, but it's the third fish on the deck. That's another caught wing. There we go, look at that. Lovely little fish. We can get him straight back. We've got this mottled brown effect and you've got some blue going through that. Some blue around the face. And they always have this black dot at the tail, generally, caught wings. So, let's get him back. Right, so I've just brought this in again because it went flying around, but I think it was weed on it. So what I'm going to do is, as Mark battles with his, that is snagged, and this is one of the uh, things with Sapphire Hope. It's quite snaggy. You might get it, you never know. They do give sometimes. Right. I am going to put this out not as far this time because I haven't had anything at distance apart from a bit of tide run. So I'm going to go to my right a bit. I'm going to put it at about 50, 60 yards maybe. Just slow that down a bit. That will do. That's gone. We have got a rat here. Just missed the bite, but it was a decent bite. Feels all right. Oh no, it's just a tiddler. That's all we get in tiddlers at the moment. Is it another caught wing? I think it is. Where are the balance? The big boys. What a stunning fish. Beautiful. Beautiful colours. Get him back. Well, I was coming to you to just uh, give you an update, but then my rod bounced over. Um, it's not really hectic. There are rass bites, but they are small. In front of Mark, it seems to be quite snaggy. He's snagged a couple of times. Um, he's going a little bit away from the wall, whereas I'm dropping my one down next to the wall. But it is tiny rass now. So if anyone's watching this, like I said, that targets the rass down here, and has a technique that they use to target the bigger ones. I'm all ears. I'd love to know, so comment. And anyone that's watching this, I'd like to know where you're from, where you're watching it, what you think. So please just comment, like. If you like, I'd like a comment. I'd like to know who's watching. It's all good. But we're probably, what are we now, about 
two hours short of high, two and a half hours short of high. So let's hope something picks up. Because just after high, I'm probably gonna call it a day. But it's slow at the moment. Oh, there we go again. And there are a lot of small rats. They are tippy tapping on this bait all the time. If anyone watching this has any uh, tactics that they use to get away from the little ones, get into some decent ones, I'm all ears. Please comment. Um, I'd be intrigued to know how it's fished. <coughs> but at the moment, all I can get is the little ones. Let's bring this in, see if we can get it in. Probably snagged, I think it probably is. Oh, we got him. Right, let's get some, I'm gonna keep the rig on here. But I am gonna get a some worms on this, some ragworm on this, keep the free up flapper, but change the bait. Right, so here we go on the free hook flapper. I have just baited it up with ragworm there, tipped with a tiny bit of mackerel just to keep it on. I mean, if a fish is interested in the ragworm, it'll take it regardless. So we're going to get this out whilst the other one's bouncing away, but it's only a little rass. I'm happy to leave that for now. Let's get this back out. Oh. oh have I got it? Oh, I might have it. Little ras, I think. Yay! Oh no, what have we got here? Have we got a tiny little pollock? Oh, look at that. Well, that's something different. We've got a tiny, tiny little pollock. Lovely. Only hand size, but it's a different fish. Look at that. I have unfortunately just missed an extremely good bite on my worm rod at distance. Oh. Unless it's coming in. Is it coming in? It's coming up on the surface. Uh, is there something on there? Is that weed? Weed. Oh, uh. I think I've missed it. Oh no, little one. Can't have been that that took the rod over, surely. Can't have been that. It really can't. There we go, another tiny, it's the smallest one of the day. Smallest wrasse of the day, so pretty. <laughs> but there it is, look at that. Stunning little wrasse. Got reds and blues on that top there. Let's get him back. something on that or is it weed oh no there's a fish on that ah come on yeah bugger that's caught something ah there's a fish on that seems to be coming what's going on here ah oh. yeah there's something on this possibly yeah there's something on this so what have we got on this from afar What have we got on this? Is it a pouting? Is it the pouting? Let's have a look. Feels like a dead weight now. Oh, the other one's bouncing like mad. So have I lost the fish? There's a weed. Oh, it's spinning. What's it spinning? It's on the surface. Looks like a pouting. Or is it a whiting? Let's have a look. What have we got here? Might be a pouting, I think. Oh, there we go. 
There's a wrasse, a little bit bigger. Still nothing to write home about, but it's a balan wrasse that's a little bit bigger. There we go. He's very light in colours, isn't he? Little balan wrasse there. Really light in colours, not that colourful. Quite boring as they go, really. Whee! Right, that was the first fish at distance, so we're going to get that one back out. It was the best wrasse of today, so I'm going to get that back out on ragworm again. And then we get the one down the wall again. Might have a fish here. We've got a fish. Oh, we've got two. I mean, I'm not trying to rub it in, Mark. <laughs> There's two rats here. So I think we've got. We've got a small ballon on the bottom there. Lovely. And on the top. Um, might be a ballon as well, I think there. Possibly that might be a court wing. Might be a ballon, I'm sure. Look at that. Stunning. Let's get these back. Yep. We have got something on the rod at distance. I don't think it's big, but we've got a fish trip the lead. It's feeling better now. Or is there weed on it? I don't know. Let's see what we've got out here. Well, there's a bit of weight on this. This is weed. Just want to follow the line. Could be a bit of weed on there, I think. Yep, there's weed on there. Is there a fish now? Yeah, there's a fish. Half decent fish spinning round. What have we got? Well, don't come off because this is a nice wrasse. Right. Yeah, nice wrasse on there. One out in a bit. Yeah. There we go. It's a better wrasse. That's nice. That's getting better, isn't it? Getting a very light one. Ballon wrasse. But, pleased with that. Lovely colours on that. I'm going to get a nice photo of him. But he, that's better. That's what I want, that sort of size or bigger. So we get a fire and we're getting back quickly, but pleased with that. Is he on there? I think he's on there. Uh, he might have a fish on here. Yeah. Possibly. Don't think it's big if there is. There might be something, but I don't think it's big.
Yeah, staying down so there's a fish out. Yeah, I can see the fish. There we go, another little ballon wrasse. Smaller than the last one. But these light coloured wrasse, they're out there a distance. I'm about 100 metres out. And they're, they're feeding quite well out there. So let's get my hooked and get back. I think we've got something on here. Possibly. Got one. Might be one on here. While I was... Yeah, that feels weighty. What have we got? Oh, look at that. Well, they're not big. And I'm tripping on everything. There we go. Couple more wrasse. There we go. Brother and sister, pretty much identical. Could be brother and brother, I don't know. Anyway, look at them. Right, so it's now, what is it, nearly three o'clock, Mark? You have been struggling, been snagged a few times, but you've got yourself a ras, having your mate, save the blank. It's all right though, it's nice, little dark red colour, isn't it? That's really nice. Fantastic. He, he might be, mate. But well done. You haven't blanked. That's all that matters, isn't it? That's it. Well done, Mark. You've got a little pollock. There we are. Mark's just got a little pollock on his feathers down the wall. Tiny little one. Well done, mate. Cheers, mate. That's a pollock each today. <laughs> I mean, it uh, wouldn't feed anyone. No. Right, right, right. So, uh, I think a baby right. would struggle. Well done, mate. Oh, he snagged me again. Come on, out you come. Out you come. This is better, Mark. Out you come. Yeah. I'm not too worried about it. That's a little one. But this feels like a little bit of a better fish, unless I've got two on. I'm not too sure. Oh, I've got a big load of weed. No, it's a little one. Two. Two. Oh, oh that's a nice one, the second one. Right. Sorry, can I? Swing this up there. Oh, that second one's nice. Well, I'm going to come that way to you. Sorry. Come on up, you come. Yes. Whoa. That's better. That's getting better. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers mate, that bottom one's nice. I'll get a photo with that if I can. So we have got two ballon wrasse. This one can go back. It's a little one. Lovely. Nice little fish. Then we got this one. That's the biggest one of the day. There, that's lovely. Pleased with that. Courtney have a rod. Don't want to break the tip on that. Let's get that back here. I think I'm snagged on this. I think something's taken me into a snag. Come on. Yeah, we got him out. 
but I don't think the fish is on. I think I've lost it. Yeah, lost fish. Whew. Right. I am getting very low on bait now. All the bait that I've got today, all the rag was from Bill's Bait in Dover. And it's been good rag. It's caught me a lot of fish, but there's some small ones in there. So I'm having to put three or four on the hook. But pleased with the rag today. And it's always good when the bait catches you some fish. But I think this might be my last cast or my last drop. fish on this near one straight away 30 seconds we got a wrasse there we go might have just kept me enough bait to drop again little caught wing lovely little fish Oof. there's another one Unfortunately, my SD card on my GoPro is full. There we go, another one. Beautiful little red one. Let's get him back. Oh, we've got another one. Mate, I must have like a fish, fish magnet. That's the same one, isn't it? <laughs> I keep putting it back out. There we go, another wrasse. Beautiful colours, the tail. I don't know if you can see that. Red, blue, and transparent. Lovely. Let's get back. Right, I'm going to bring in the furthest one out. That's done now. I'm out of bait, literally out of bait. So that's going to come in now. I'm going to pack that weight and then we'll see what happens with the other one. Right, well, I'm done. I'm all packed up. Um, Mark's still fishing. There he is behind me. He's still trying to snag a few fish down the side. I'm out of bait. I've literally used up every single bit of bait. I've had a bite pretty much on everything. Um, it's been a good session. It's been pretty uh, pretty hectic. Um, lost one set of gear, and that was because of I had a fish, took me into the rocks, and snagged me up. Mark's, unfortunately, not had so much luck, have you, mate? No, mate. No. How many sets of gear you lost? Four sets. Mark's lost four sets of gear. Now that is what it's like down here. You can, if you're just in the bad spot, you will lose gear. Yeah, it's down there, right on that far left hand side, had a good spot. Down there. That's why he's this side of me now. He was down that side. Um, yeah, I'm not in reverse. He's moved because it was a bit too snaggy. But you're going to give it a bit longer, aren't you, mate? Yeah, I'll give, I'll give it another half an hour, 45 minutes. So. Well, good luck. Thank you. Hope you catch something. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Yeah, and we'll do another session, won't we? we will. But I'm going to sign out now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like I said, please comment. I'd like to know where you're from, maybe fish here, what tactics you use, or if you just like the video, give it a thumbs up. It all uh, boosts this video. That's what I'm aiming to do. So until next time, tight lines. <laughs>